be, um, the changing room must have been a lot, lot happier. Yes, it was, yeah. Um, it was just nice to, we started so well and managed to build on it throughout the game. We started a little bit slow second half, but uh, I can't remember who nipped over second half. I think it was Dylan or Ricky, wasn't it? And once we got that, so they were kind of out on their feet, and I think yeah, Jono, I actually saw a smile at one point after the game, so better than shouting the week before. It was probably win, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember I played with him and against him, miserable fucker, at the best of times. <laughs> but you must have been, um, because there's been a lot written, there's been a lot written about the England side, and obviously pre-Christmas, and Six Nations. And obviously the pressure was on. You could tell that by the way Martin Johnson's reaction in Croke Park. Did the boys feel the pressure, or did they know it was going to come well at some stage? I think we've always had belief that it's going to it's going to come good. Um, in fairness, we've played some pretty good parts in, in the in the previous games, um, and our disciplines let us down. Um, obviously, a dis disappointing autumn. Um, but I mean, everyone forgets that Clive Woodward nearly got the sack before he masterminded them winning the World Cup. So it just takes time to, to build these things, and uh, all the boys that are involved truly believe that we're building something special. I mean, the game was billed as a, a battle of the giants, two big packs. But I think England caught the French um, a little bit out of hulk in the start. I mean, we straight away from the start of the kickoff, we started spreading things wide. We felt a lot more confident. You know, the weather was nice. We were at Twickenham. Was that a tactic that you were going to actually spread it a bit wider uh, to get away from the French forwards, or did, did you just play naturally and just happen? Well, we've been trying to say we've been trying to do that for the last couple of weeks, and uh, fortunately, the stuff we worked on during the week paid off. Um, I think their backs were about the same size as their forwards anyway, so it was kind of not much choice but to run into some big units. Um, but I was obviously pleasing that the stuff that we had practiced came off. Um, obviously, we, we appreciate Matt, you've coming all the way over on a, on a day like this and, and everything else. But I, I've got to ask you a personal question. Um, as a great running rugby player myself, <laughs> shut up. Whenever you come on the field, you make things happen. Do you not get frustrated that you do not start in the starting 15? Got to be asked, come on. Yeah. Uh, yes, I do, yeah. Uh, it's, nice. yeah it's, uh, it's nice to be involved in the 22, it's the old cliche, but oh, yeah, anyone who owns a bench uh, is desperate to start, and I'm no different. Uh, obviously, after the World Cup, I thought, uh, thought it might kick on a bit, but. Uh, Seems to have sort of faltered a little bit, but as, um, I'm glad to be in the 22, but uh, we prefer to get longer than eight minutes. But all I can say, ladies and gentlemen, if we're going to play the sort of rugby we played this afternoon, there's no better person to start the game in Axie play. Yeah, Matt, you've come a long way over. It's very difficult getting through the crowds and whatever, but from all of us, congratulations to England. And Matt Perry, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Perry. Oh! Matt Perry. Matthew Tate. I was with him last night, Perry. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Matt. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.